Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to make this really beautiful feather ear cuff. I think this is perfect for the summertime. It is also perfect to wear to festivals like Coachella or EDC. I love this, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need is feathers. Lots and lots of feathers. You're also going to need some jewelry pliers. You're going to need flat nose pliers along with wire cutters. These are angled flat nose and also round nose pliers. You're also gonna need some type of wire. I am using copper wire. Make sure to have two different types, one thicker than the other, and you're also going to need scissors, a metal clamp, and optional is chain, jump rings, and charms. The first thing you're gonna do is stack your feathers and decide how you want to stack them and how you want them to look. Once you're satisfied with how their placement will be, we're then going to use our scissors and cut the end of the feathers so that we can thin it down a bit, also clear away any feathers that's going to be wrapped. Now we're going to grab our thinner wire and use our wire cutters to cut a piece that's about one foot long. And I'm going to place it alongside the feathers and I'm gonna have them stacked to how I want them to be. And I'm going to hold it down and start to wrap it around the feathers. So wrap it around pretty tightly, do a couple times around, and then we're going to switch it over, switch our pan placement, and we're going to wrap it all the way to the edge of the feathers. So try and do it as tightly as possible and as close as possible as well so you don't have any feathers that will slip out. Once you reach the edge, go ahead and wrap it around the actual wire that is sticking out and you can twist it. Once you have it wrapped, use your wire cutters to cut away any excess you want there to be at least a quarter of an inch left. Now I'm going to get my metal clamp and I'm just going to cut away the ring portion of it and I'm going to stick the wire through and I'm going to clamp it down onto the wire. Then I'm going to grab another metal clamp, stick it through, but this time I'm going to leave the actual ring portion on and I'm going to twist the wire so that it does not come undone. And then I'm going to go ahead and clamp this down. You don't have to close off the circle portion yet because we will close that once we've added it to our ear cuff. So this is what you should have. When I make my ear cuffs, I like to have at least five feathers. So make the rest of your feathers. Next, we're going to actually create the ear cuff. So use the thicker wire that you have. Use your fingers to straighten it out, get rid of any kinks, and cut about a piece that is probably 10 to 11 inches. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my round nose pliers and I'm going to wrap it around and create an eye on the edge of the wire. I'm going to flatten it down as tightly as possible because we are going to swirl this. So grab your angled flat nose pliers and push down tightly onto the eye and we're going to just maneuver it so we can swirl it. You can make this as big as you want or as little as you want. I like to have big swirls. Flatten it as you go so that it's all even and you don't have any kinks. Once you're satisfied with your swirl, grab your thumb and kind of form it and mold it into the ear shape that you want. Uh, a really good way is to just put it onto your ear and kind of push it down and see how you want it to be shaped. So I would really recommend doing this. You can customize it to however you like. My shape ended up looking like this and I would like my wire to come down to about this point. So I'm going to, again, make an eye pin at the end of my wire with my round nose pliers and I'm going to swirl it again up to the point where I want it to lie on my ear. Now that I'm satisfied with my swirls, I'm then going to make another piece and this is going to be a smaller piece and I'm only going to have one swirl and an eye at the bottom because I decided that I want to attach a chain to the bottom of this. So I'm going to attach the chain right here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my thinner wire and cut a piece that is about one yard long. The more you have, the better. You don't want to run out of wire for this and I'm going to tightly wrap it around 
my ear cuff. So this is going to add as extra stability so that it doesn't bend. And we're also going to attach the feathers with this. So if you're going to add two wires, this is a little more difficult. You're then going to make sure that you place it onto wherever the second wire meets and you're going to incorporate it into your earpiece. So you're going to wrap it around and incorporate it so that it's one piece all together. So when you're wrapping the wire, make sure that you do it as tightly as possible, close to each other as possible, because you want this to be very sturdy. Once you've reached a point where you want to add your first feather, go ahead and use the clamp um, and press it down against the ear cuff wire and use your pliers to press it down firmly so that it doesn't wiggle and it doesn't go anywhere and they stay perked up on your hair. So once you have that clamp down, continue wrapping the wire around it. What I like to do is just kind of do a crisscross around the feather so that it just adds a little more sturdiness to it. So I'm going to crisscross around it a couple times and then continue wrapping the ear cuff and adding feathers to where I like the placement. Since I like to add five feathers onto this, I like to place them about half an inch apart from each other. So I'm going to continue doing that. So this is my final ear cuff piece and I'm not quite done yet. I want to add chain as a decoration. So I'm going to grab some chain and cut about a three inch piece and use a jump ring to attach the feather onto the actual chain. So it's gonna dangle and kind of look like a feather earring, but it's going to be attached to the ear cuff. So attach it with your jump ring and also use a jump ring to attach the chain to the actual ear cuff. Make sure you close it tightly and you're all set. If you want to add a bead to your ear cuff, which I am doing, go ahead and grab some wire that's about an inch long and make an eye at the end of the wire. Clamp it down tightly and press your bead on. Once your bead is on, close it by making another eye at the top of the wire using your round nose pliers. Cut off the excess wire and clamp it down tightly so that it does not slip off. It will not slip off, but the jump rings may slip off and you will attach it to your chain with a jump ring. So once you're done with that, you now have a very beautiful, unique feather ear cuff piece. I am so, so, so happy with this. If I was going to Coachella, I would definitely wear it, but I will definitely be wearing this to EDC. I am so happy with this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you out. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and tweet me. Send me any pictures if you guys create this because I would love to see it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye.